give YouTube and Instagram and whatnot a good old wave. All right, so Play Pokemon, which is the organization for anyone who doesn't know that kind of hosts the like tournaments and things like that for competitive Pokemon, whether that's like VGC, TCG, and things like that. They are, they have officially put out, as of today, they have officially put out information regarding the 2022 Championship Series chat. As we know, Pokemon Worlds hasn't happened for the last couple of years because of the pandemic and things like that, but with online play, regardless with like the, uh, the Players' Cup, and the team challenge if you're playing the TCG and stuff. They've been they've been doing a lot of stuff online, but here is the first look at plans for the upcoming season and qualifications for the 2022 World Championship. So right off the bat, as Gnarly is saying, qualifications for the 2022 World Championships. The World Championships, as it says right there, sounds like it's coming back, but we need to obviously chat. You don't just read the headline. You need to read the entire article, which is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be reading the whole thing. And we're going to analyze it. Planning is underway for the 2022 championship season. Organized play joined players and looking forward to the resumption of exciting competitions around the world. Health and safety of the community is going to be the most important aspect for resuming live events and situation being continuously monitored. Timing for the next live play Pokemon events will be determined by the health mandates, guidelines, and recommendations provided by the appropriate government agencies. So this is nothing necessarily new, right? We know that every single year, play Pokemon has been getting ready to potentially hold a Worlds. Like 2021, I believe they they plan to have the Worlds in London. They have a couple things set up, but then they realize, you know what? We don't think that it's going to end up happening. You know, they prepare for it, but the, it, because of guidelines, recommendations, health mandates, things like that, they realize, you know, well, we're not ready for that. So this is technically like nothing new, right? They're probably going to do this every year as COVID is still around and still present. This update provides the uh, information about the 2022 championship series under the assumption that most play will be able to resume in some form or fashion in the next 12 months. This is very exciting chat. Within the next 12 months, the next year, we will be back to most, but most play is the, is the big phrase right there in the play Pokemon series. As of right now though, events will remain suspended except for Australia and New Zealand, which have been holding events for a bit now. I would say a couple months now, Australia and New Zealand has been able to hold events, but the plans for the next season anticipate that the Pokemon World Championship will take place in london in august 22. keep in mind chat that they said this exact same thing for 2020 they said the exact same thing for 2021 all right up to this point although i like this update as of right now considering that events are happening in australia and new zealand i like where this is this is much better than what we've had in past years in terms of getting back to normal play according to the following changes that are going to be made the age division for players in the 2022 season will increase by one year from the 2020 season. The junior division born in 2010 or later. Senior division six, seven, eight, or nine, and then masters 2005 or earlier. All right, so in 2005 or earlier, that is 16 years old, right? As of right now, 17 years old in 2022, which is awesome. So one of the big things, this is really, really cool because one of the big things that you will hear me say on the Metapod, for those of you that don't know, I run a Pokemon podcast with Gyroshan about the trading card game that happens every single week, every single week on Tuesdays. Actually, a video as, as is releasing here in about seven minutes of our latest pod. One of the questions, one of the big questions that I had is what are they gonna do with juniors and seniors and masters? What are they gonna do about the age division? Cause there could potentially, if they don't do anything, there could be, seniors that have been seniors for three extra years like literally 18 year old seniors you know like like adult seniors <laughs> and so i'm really happy about this they kind of compromised giving like an extra year to seniors and juniors some people being able to compete in those categories right so i, I like this i like this honestly I, i'm very i'm i'm very impressed by this the 2022 World Championships will take place over four days beginning on Thursday. I believe this is different. Appa, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can say this or anybody else in chat, but I believe the World Championships were usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? 
Yeah, I believe they were Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's been a while since we've had a world, so I, I'm not... Okay, Appa says correct. Okay, good, good, good. So, anyways, yeah, si Sunday are the finals of every single event. Yeah, that's right. So, it's like, there's day one Swiss, and then there's day two Swiss and top cut on Saturday, and then Sunday is just, like, literally the championships for every single division of every single, like, event, you know, Pokken, TCG, VGC, and stuff, get, giving them the highlight spotlight and stuff. Some players will age up to a new division as a result of this update. If a player qualified for Worlds as a junior and is now a senior, or was a senior and is now a Masters player, their qualification will day one worlds will be maintained regardless of whether they meet the point threshold for their new age division let me read this next part the championship points which is how you qualify for worlds chat in competitive pokemon for anyone who doesn't know championship points that eligible players earned in 2020 will transfer in whole to the 2022 season Players will continue to add this total with any CP earned in the 2022 season. This was another big thing that I was worried about. I was like, we've been two years removed now, almost. We've been almost two years removed from getting championship points, especially with the complexity of age divisions. How are they going to do championship points? I like this. I like that they just moved over all the championship points. If you got 100 championship points before COVID hit, you still have 100 points. I like that they're honoring the qualifications, the automatic qualifiers for day one worlds. Because Chad, if you have a certain amount of points and you meet the requirement to qualify for worlds, you get invited to worlds, right? If you have X amount of points that Pokemon play Pokemon sets. So I like that for people who maybe qualified as a junior or they qualify like they qualified as a junior and now because of this age change, right? They're now a senior or like senior and a masters. I like that they're holding this, this qualification, right? Because if they're going to transfer over the CP, in my personal opinion, I think it's slightly unfair to take away that chance that somebody maybe, uh, that maybe earned their right to go to worlds in 2020, the last worlds that we would have had before COVID. I like this. I, I'm I'm perfectly okay with this. There's probably gonna be a lot of people that are mad about this, but I personally like this. I personally like this. There will be two CP qualification thresholds. Thursday players, which is going to be like day one, right? Players who reach the qualification bar that is the same as the 2020 bar. So this is very interesting. This is super interesting. Because they're moving points over, chat, because they're moving points over, you know, rolling over points, as you can say, it's interesting that they're keeping the same bars. I believe for Masters in the TCG, it was 500 points, right? It's very interesting that they're rolling that over, especially because events didn't end until like March, I believe over halfway through the competitive season i think i think we were no i think we we're just about halfway through the season it's interesting that they're not boosting up so you need that 500 point if you're a masters if you're a masters player to qualify for this thursday but friday friday players who will reach a new cp qualification threshold set in 2021 or 2022 when more information is available about qualifying events players who hit the friday cp threshold will skip play on Thursday. The number of CP required for the Friday players and for the 2022 season will be announced at a later date. Information on best finish limits will be available at a later time as well. Check back here for more updates. I kind of like this. They're committing harder to the possibility of a 2022 world, right? Because we have vaccines, because a lot of countries are doing better Right, there's still a lot of work to be done, but so there are some countries that are doing better. Just overall, you can skip Thursday, you know. There, this is like the middle ground. This is that middle ground that I was talking to, this middle ground area, making sure that players didn't lose what they had in 2019, 2020, right? Before the pandemic hit. Giving players that back, that mantra or that, 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 momentum back but also leaving it open to having almost a new season i really like this i really like this but they're also leaving the possibility of like hey we may not have events we need to see how the world continues to progress 
before we commit further. We have this idea. We really think you're going to like this idea. We think it's going to be really, really good, right? And we're in a place to where we think this can happen in 2022, but we still need to progress further, right? We can't just, we can't just go in, right? We still need to be careful, be cautious, be mindful. And I think this is great. I think this entire release is great. I think they did a lot of great stuff. And I think honestly with, I've been, I've been a little frustrated with play Pokemon lately, Chad. I'm not going to lie. I've been very frustrated with the, you'll hear it on the podcast. If you listen to it today, the Metapod podcast, you listen to it today. I've been very frustrated with how they've kind of handled the, the team challenge and players cup and how that they've clashed so much and how much they've overlapped. And, uh, and a couple other things. I, I think that I, I've been frustrated with that. I'm not going to lie. I'll be transparent. I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not tied down to anybody at the Pokemon company. Papa Pikachu doesn't have my hand chat. I think that this is very hopeful while also being very mindful. And I, I think that this, this whole thing right here was very thought out. I've heard a lot of people give this specific opinion especially content creators, you know, like in videos and in streams, you know, talking about this subject. And I think the one of the big things that Play Pokemon has done in the last like six months is engage with content creators on Twitch and YouTube in Pokemon. Engage with the, with both openers and players alike. I think they've done a really good job in the last six months of engaging those people. So I think, in my opinion, I think they heard out from the community i think this is a great example of hearing out from the community chat us the play pokemon community the players themselves and hearing what they had to say and taking that heavily into account i really think they took this into account and if you've been listening and if you've been following pokemon for a while feel like especially with ptcgo they have not necessarily listened to players in in the past so I think that this is awesome. I, I This makes me very, very excited for the Play Pokemon series. This makes me excited. I, I really want IRL events back, chat. I don't think any of y'all know. I, I don't think that's not apparent for those of you that have been around the community for a while. You know I want IRL events back. I, I love the trading card game. I may be a little frustrated with it now, but I love the trading card game. I want to get back to playing it, especially with all my friends. And uh, this, this makes me excited. But Chad, if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram, thank you so much for watching. Like, follow, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments, whether that's here on Instagram, whether that's here on, uh, on uh, YouTube or whatever. It's not officially coming back, but it is definitely a big step in getting IRL events back. Wave by, it's polite chat. Especially if they're on YouTube, they're seeing a couple other videos that they can watch related to my content. And, and we want them to click on those, chat. We want them to click on those and we want them to subscribe. So you have to be nice, chat. You have to be polite.